if you live close, you, there's no reason not to come out. <laughs> Definitely. And the area here is actually so big that you could possibly host a national here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. There's a hotel, like, literally next door, so. It's a casino hotel, too. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so Zero Suit opting out for the Zero Suit. I think I've seen him, no, not play Cloud Devils. Something like that. That's what I heard. Who, uh, Nick Riddle? Yeah. I mostly see him play Zero Suit. I haven't seen him play Cloud. That's mostly for MVD. Doubles, for doubles. MVD oh, yeah. does play uh, yeah, cloud, cloud for Doubles. All right, this is going to be pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're going to love this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Zero Suit in doubles is really interesting. Her disadvantage state is really bad in doubles, but if she could catch anybody in a straight up air string, you're going to be dying at 40 or 50. You, would you say that Zero Suit Samus is oh, more, I guess, developed when it comes to singles than doubles? Oh, for sure, because okay. she's a setup character, and in order for you to set up, you kind of need that space and zoning. So it's kind of harder in doubles, but if you have great um, awareness, that was amazing. Um, I have no idea um, what just happened. I'm pretty sure Meta Knight's up throw just killed Blank. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Was, I don't. It, it seemed like he got like a sweet spot there. I don't know. <laughs> I think something else comboed into it. I have no clue. That was outrageous. Already, Blank on a second stock, making up for it though. He's already putting. A lot of damage on Mario. Great save there from Seabrick. And oh, answer yeah. oh, with double goodness. forward smash, and he's going to hit both of Red Team. Yeah. And he rolls right wow. into D2DA's forward smash. D2DA so answering right back with a forward smash and a well prosecuted a B on Nick Riddle. Yeah, that was really, really great reaction time. Oh, dash attack at the ledge into Tornado. Does that auto cancel? I don't think so. Wow, that was really cool. Ooh. Blank with a back throw into Dick. Ooh. So I guess we can see right now what the initiative goal for this team is, uh, for Red Team in specific. Uh, Blank is really well with his uh, his awareness of the stage into following up from DTDA, but it seems like Blank rather uh, rack up the percentage that he needs to because that is, oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness, gets the two frame with up Vanish. Wow. He stalled that too. He was trying to go for that. Yeah, that was, yeah, he didn't sweet spot the ledge either, which was the perfect storm for that. Um, and see, as we're seeing, Blank is constantly throwing them back at DTDA so that way he could finish it off with the kill potential that DTDA has and that Blank does not. Yeah, and he's really consistent at doing it. Wow, they're trying to land. DTDA trying to land there. Wow, so Red Team bringing this back, honestly. That early stock that we saw from Blank, we're seeing Blank oh, yeah. hold on to his second stock. I for think it's dear the momentum life. shift. Definitely. Oh my goodness, Nick Riddle not teching, falling into a fully charged forward smash. So Nick Riddle is going to be taking Seabrick's second stock there. Yeah. It's still possible. D2DA is on point with these forward smashes today. It's it's really difficult to kind of see it coming when you're playing doubles. I feel like you just get away with a lot more unsafe things. Oh, yeah. Although Meta Knight's forward smash is possibly one of the safest forward smashes in the game. Oh, definitely. But imagine if you include that. Look, just right oh there from a punish <laughs> from a grab. He's like, oh, you're going to grab my teammate? Well, let's see if it was worth it. Yeah. Now Nick Riddle in the 1v1. It's still possible for Nick Riddle to do this. We're oh, yeah. right now, Nick Riddle versus D2DA looking like a versus weekly. <laughs> this is so possible for both of these characters. They, they kill off the top super early. So D2DA does play this very safely. Uh, he could possibly win this 1v1. Oh, for sure. With grab into nothing. Ooh, scary air dodge there above D2DA. That's exactly what he wants. Oh, yeah. Another whiff grab. Nick Riddle really needs to watch out for these grabs. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And D2DA is going to catch Nick Riddle's landing with that up smash. Great usage of an anti-air. Wow, yeah, that was a really great set. I mean, uh, first game. I like the I like the team synergy between Blank and D2DA. That was really interesting. They are very aware with their follow-ups. They kind of see the position of what character sends 
the other character wear, and they kind of tend to follow up after that. It's not even out of throws only, as we saw. We saw a uh, oh, yeah. DA combo out of blanks vanishes as well, and it's like, okay. Yeah, I mean, maybe the team synergy also upon uh, Meta Knight and Sheik she are probably really fluent. Very I, I obscure uh, team. I actually don't see it very often, but it's great to get a... <laughs> yeah, at the highest level, I can't name a single team that plays this. So. But it's great to get a diversity of it. I love it, yeah. D2DA is starting out with a jab combo. <laughs> and Blue Team was looking really strong in the beginning of the first set, of uh, the first game. Yeah, yeah. And even then, when they had to share a stock, they were able to come back, so. Ooh, up air juggles by both Sabrick and Nick Riddle there. DTDA trying to help Blank land. Nick Riddle yep. not wanting to let that happen. And Seabig trying to keep DTDA busy. I'm liking the team synergy that I'm seeing from both these teams right now. Yeah. So right now, kind of pressured at the ledge here. Wow. Ooh. And Blank tried to toss whoever he grabbed there towards DTDA, but unfortunately he does get punished for that grab. And yep. in turn, he loses the stock for doing so. Sabrick is really throwing out some really good F smashes. So I would say both D2DA and Sabrick are throwing out some amazing stuff here. Okay. So unfortunately there, Blank does take D2DA stock. In turn, he was trying to... I don't know if that was an intended forward smash. Well, I think the griddle was grabbing him in the middle of that, so like he couldn't do anything. Yeah. He grabbed D2DA. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Oh, I see what uh, D2DA was trying to do there. I don't think it would have killed at that percent, though. No, yeah, you're right. Seabrick playing a really strong aggressor in this team. Yep. Ooh, he tried to go for a pivot forward smash there. And oh my in turn, goodness. he gets the back air. Wow, Seabrick is playing out of his mind right now. Great patience from Seabrick there. Yep. Back throw gets Z to the A off stage. I'm seeing Nick Riddle getting punished for all these grabs. Yeah. Even the grabs that he lands, unfortunately, it's so difficult. I can see it. The He's setup, difficult to yeah. execute the setup when you, another teammate is, you know, going to help them out. Exactly. Also, uh, D2DA has also suffered. Oh, that was a little too. scary. D2DA does not want to up his oh. partner there. <laughs> Nick Riddle with these pressuring up airs. Yep. Wow, sweet spot up smash from Blank. Wow. Taking that stock relatively early, too. Oh, oh my, my gosh. See, <laughs> Answering back with that fair. Nick Riddle setting him up perfectly off stage. <laughs> wow. Nick Riddle and Sabrick have been playing very well this game. Ooh, he was trying to get a follow up there. Don't know what happened after Sabrick grabbed him. Blank just trying to space away from that, but. Oh my goodness, up bees everywhere. Oh my god. Seabrick in the middle. Yeah, they seem to be uh, comboing each other a lot there. They just kind of space themselves back a little bit, both Seabrick and... Uh... Great attempt there from Seabrick. This is really difficult for Blank to be able to come back. Both these players have two stocks. Yeah. But again, it's not impossible until the game yeah, for title all you know, appears on the screen. Sheik has a really good, uh, you know, chance at... Uh, Taking away recoveries and stuff like that. So. Oh my oh goodness. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Did you see that flood into Paralyzer? <laughs> what is that? You think you're safe? You're actually <laughs> not because Paralyzer will hit you anyway. Yeah. Wow, staying alive though. Blank trying his hardest. Oh my goodness. Avoiding all these kill setups. Wow, Blank though. Keeping up the pressure on Seabrick. He oh really yeah. He doesn't want Seabrick to be on that stage there. Look at that. He's just singling them out. Oh my oh goodness. Oh my goodness. Blank. He's just a boy. <laughs> oh, oh my Seabrick God. answering back. Wow. Reverse fair. Oh my gosh. Great that was awesome. second game of that set. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to have to be hopping off in the middle of the set. Unfortunately, I do have a match to play. Thank you so much, Fians. It was fun. Yes. So I will be back. Thank you, guys. Once again, please tweet out the stream and show some love to TGL. For sure. Have a good one. So now it looks like... Uh
game two, I don't know this counter pick that they're going to be going to. I have my friend Professor Oates here. He's going to be joining the commentators. Booth. Hello. So, are we still in match? Oh, I can't. Uh, this is game three. This is on the counter pick of Blank and D2DA. So, this is really interesting. Okay. And I know Blank and D2DA, uh, normally D2DA teams with Strobix and Blank teams with Mutes. But yes. uh, they're preparing for Genesis 4 because their respective teammates aren't going. But uh, they are. So, like. Okay. Hey. Okay. So, and right now it's just practicing. I like this. They're, they're, they're already learning all these team combos, you know, considering this is like the first time they've played, supposedly. Oh, yeah. I mean, they've played against each other a lot, and like, they're all in the same group of training partners, so. Uh -huh. They most likely know each other's style, and also, like, Blank's a combo technician. That's just, that's his thing. Yeah. Well, he, there's uh, this trademark combo where she back throws into Meta Knight up air. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sheik's, every single one of Sheik's throws, like, Having a slow throw animation is pretty good in doubles because Sheik's down throw, she kind of like hits him on the ground and the teammate says, okay, I can go up I could react now. to that, right? Same with forward throw, same with back throw, kind of yeah. same with up throw. And believe it or not, there's a lot of hit stun from back throw. So there's enough time for D2DA to set up an up air string. It's and it hits him low. So uh, like yeah. Ryuga Rayquaza would always back throw into Ike up smash back when they played those characters. Wow. And now we're seeing a relatively even game here. D2D is still holding on to that stock. Woo! Oh my goodness. Goes past him with the broke his shield, but nice job from Blank shielding that, because yeah. Oh yeah. No one saw it coming. Wow, Nick Riddle at 86%. Okay, yeah, now we get to a uh, blue team who's he's not they're not leading. Yeah. They're winning in percent, but definitely not stocks, because they're one behind. They need to take the stock off that Meta Knight. Yeah. Speak of the devil. Yep. That was nice. Uh, shot it right into Mario's back air. Well, now you have Nick Riddle at 117, which is potential for one, having one stock. This early into the set, it's very dangerous. Wow. Oh, yeah. I mean, as long as he holds on to one stock, he still has that ability to throw up these after Mario things or, you know, hit into Mario things, which is necessary. Right. Because both these guys have, like, up air, up air, up air combos. Yeah. And when they have to stop, the other person can start if they're in the right spot. And that's, like, how the team is going to get a lot of damage. Yeah, and you can see it. You can see it when they, uh... Not right now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, backside of the down smash. And Zero Suit is on her last stock. Wow. Just trying to throw... Zero Suit's just trying to get a nair, but it wasn't working. Yeah, she, it takes a while for her to set up. Ooh, but the stray up B... I'm not going to be punished too hard. And, like, a lot of people say in singles she doesn't have the best neutral. I don't entirely agree with that because her up tilt is ridiculously fast. But, like, she has to move around a lot and yeah, wait for and her reset. throw or nair. If yeah. they're not in the right spot, she can't do anything about that. But in doubles, like, you're not going to find the chance too much. So sometimes you have to force it. Like, yeah. it's different. I'm not sure if it's better or worse for her. Well, like, one thing, this, this set, Nick Riddle has these really short up air combos that will combo you at 30 out of nowhere, and you'll see somebody die to boost kick at 40, which is really interesting. Oh, yeah. Throws in general are a little bit less good because the teammate can knock you out of throws, whereas in singles, if Zero Suit lands the throw, there's no chance they're going to hit you out of it because, you know, you're grabbing them. Yeah. Wow, Zero Suit's up B. Same with Mario because he's all about the grabs, but his down throw is very, very fast, so. Yeah. Nick Riddle able to recover after that. D2DA doing a great job edgeguarding this set. Hmm. Meta Knight's got a lot of jumps, and he can just put hitboxes out a lot. Yeah. So he's a character suited for edgeguarding, you know? But both Mario and Zero Suit have pretty good recoveries. Yes, they do, wow. especially uh, Flip Kick and Mario's up hitbox is hard to challenge. But it yeah. doesn't matter. Hit her on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Preventing the throw from Sabrix Mario. All right. Oh, that wall jump tech was... Yeah, that was pretty interesting. That was pretty. It's just good awareness. He probably practices on Duck Hunt more than I do. Oh, man. Walls for Mario. Absolutely phenomenal. So right now, they're keeping him in the middle here. Oh, oh my goodness. Needles pushes him into the forward smash. That was dirty. Yeah, that was. That was a great, like, 30% combo right there. Oh, my goodness. Up yep. throw. And up throw to the tree. That was definitely a counter pick for them. Yeah, he got, like, what? Three stocks this whole entire set doing that? That is insane. I came in partway through this game. I saw two of them. Wow. Or I might have just been oblivious. Wow. So this set was really interesting. The first game was heavily in 
blanks and D2DA's favor, and then okay, the second game. Okay, so they game. did get their la they that was their counter pick on the last game. Yes. That's really important. Yes. So, you know, really interesting. I would say that's an upset.